because obviously something that has been making waves in the wrestling world has been the Roman Reigns versus The Rock WrestleMania 40 main event uh, with the status of Cody Rhodes pending. Uh, if you watched SmackDown last week, you would have known that it was kind of insinuated that The Rock will now be going after Roman Reigns. However, uh, there were reports that were coming out on Twitter saying that officials had been passing out or somebody had been passing out we want Cody signs on Raw. And it kind of leads me to think this may not be as real as we think it is. Do you think that the We Want Cody movement is a work or do you think it's real? I I think that it started off as not a work, but then they're making it into a work because it ended up working. Mm. By that, I mean this. Um, okay, you have the whole TKO thing happening, and I don't think that they're smart enough to pre-plan the tying into that. And you have a lot of people in the back that are very big fans of Dwayne, are very close friends with Dwayne. Um, and I felt like watching the show that they always tend to snub Cody just a little bit, and I can't help but think that he gets snubbed just because, yeah, he was an AEW. And mm-hmm. yeah, he took direct shots. So I feel like they almost kind of like cock tease him with his own position. But I feel like the crowd kind of kind of took over. Mm-hmm. And now they're trying to make it work into an angle to where it's going to work into Cody's favor. Because I just feel like watching that segment with um Cody and Rollins in the same ring and the crowd just like like literally cracked me all over um rock i forgot what the chant was uh but what was it was something rocky what about it what was the chant if you remember it you don't remember i don't even cool. remember i don't even remember I but think, it was mm-hmm. i don't yeah. remember it to be honest whatever there was a chant that made I think it was rocky wrong. Sucks. yeah it was something like that and like yeah. it actually like threw off Seth rollins like you see mm-hmm. the natural look in his face that like he wasn't even expecting that mm-hmm. and i just feel like we're like the most ruthless crowd out there. If we don't like you, you'll know it. If we love you, you'll know it. Um, and I feel like we are in a day and age where I don't think that is necessary to have Dwayne hijack this. I was more excited to see him last year. I don't mind seeing him at all, but I don't like. I don't think it was necessary to have him rob Cody of opportunity. Cause we watched him take a major L last year, but you know, we, we came to terms with it because you know they maneuvered the pay per view, sorry, not the pay per view, the storyline to being what it was and it ended up being a very beautiful thing. Now it's like a little too late <laughs> for mm-hmm. me personally. Um, because like you know, you don't want to you don't want to have Cody come over here for nothing and lose his momentum, right? And I think the crowd sees that that there's more you got of a Cody match than you could get out of a Dwayne match. You know, Dwayne's old. He's in his 50s for crying out loud. Like, mm-hmm. he can't do too much. And he displayed that when he was wrestling with Ginger Mahal. So, to me, I feel like the crowd sees through that. It's like, hey, we love you, Dwayne, but this is Cody's time. Why are you taking it? But mm-hmm. I feel like WWE sees that, and they're going to try to, like, build this into some underdog angle. And I still feel like in the back of my head, maybe this, maybe this might end up being a triple threat. I think I don't think Cody's gonna fully lose his opportunity. I don't know why, but I can't see it. I feel like he's gonna get somehow wedged in there, or maybe they just might try to give him like a Daniel Bryan moment or something. But either way, Cody's gonna come out being a major baby face out of mm-hmm. this. Like it's people have been calling it like a cult, the type of like support that Cody has. Like I saw didn't you open up on Twitter today and see someone get a neck tattoo in the same spot as Cody? Nuts. Unhinged. Cody don't even like the placement of his tattoo, and fans are out here getting Cody tattoos. Like, I'm sorry, I don't think you could fake this. You just, you just can't. But I feel like knowing them, they see what's going on. They're not gonna try to make Dwayne look bad, so they're gonna try to manipulate it into their into a way to be like, oh, ah, ha ha, you know, we planned this just so like you appreciate it more when Cody gets over. But that's what I think. I think that it was not a work that's being formed into a work. But what do you think? I'm going to start off by saying something that my therapist told me years ago. History doesn't repeat itself. It just rhymes. This 
entire situation brings me back to 2014 WrestleMania 30 when we were set on Batista versus Randy Orton in the main event of WrestleMania in New Orleans. And then all of a sudden, we see the surging popularity of one Daniel Bryan. And the Yes movement absolutely hijacks Raw and thus makes it possible for Daniel Bryan to have a match against Triple H, which would then allow him to have the opportunity to go up against Batista and Randy Orton in the main event of WrestleMania 30, which then leads to one of the most iconic moments in the history of WrestleMania. When I'm looking at this particular incident, I feel like I'm seeing the same thing. There are certain nuances that make it very, very unique. One of those being that Cody's story has been something that we've been hearing about for the past year and change ever since that he's been, well, two years really, ever since he's been back in WWE. Um, I think that everybody was kind of set on Roman and Cody happening at Mania, especially at the end of the Royal Rumble when we saw Cody point to the WrestleMania sign and then point at Roman Reigns, kind of implying that I'm going after your title, bro. Um, so I think that's that's what makes it different. Um, as far as it being a work or a, uh, you know, a real thing, I feel like it's kind of a little bit in between because I feel like none of this was really planned. Because, once again, the initial plan of everything was that we were going to have Punk and Seth, and then we were going to have Cody and Roman, right? That's what it looked like was going to happen until we found out that CM Punk is unfortunately injured and will be missing 6 to 12 months uh, for rehabbing and, and all those things. So I feel like nothing was really set in stone, and I feel like nothing was really... The, the 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 a plan to go to i feel like there were certain things that were said that kind of implied certain things and then fans kind of ran with it you know what i'm saying like between the stare down between rock and roman between cody saying i have somebody to bring in nobody really knows who's facing who everything has just been implied everything has just been kind of like a little hint here a little hint here and i actually kind of think it's genius because it's like yeah. Because everybody's mad, but nobody confirmed <laughs> anything. Nobody confirmed anything. It's like, oh, well, Rock is taking Romans. Rock is taking Cody's spot. Who said Who said Rock was taking Cody's spot? They just locked eyes. And I think that's the genius part about it, is that nobody has really confirmed anything. But everybody kind of sees an interaction, and they run with it. So yeah. WWE has the 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 pleasure and the advantage of getting all these interactions and sowing all these different seeds, but they haven't committed to anything yet, which means that the WrestleMania main event is still unknown and it could be anything. I do believe that this WrestleMania press conference, whenever it is and whatever it is, is probably going to be the, the beginning of the actual build. And so I'm very, very eager to see that. But as far as, if it's a work or if it's real, I think it's a work at this point. Like, at, like the powers that be, if Triple H is the guy that is in charge, which, you know, it looks like he is, he was in this position 10 years ago. He knows what to do. And so I think that this is definitely a work, and I'm very, very eager to see what happens next. But we want to know how everybody else feels. We want Cody. Is it a work? Is it real? Let us know in the comments below, but we are going to be moving on because